It looks so good. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. We're in good health. Yeah, this is beautiful. What's going on is Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I'm here in Troy, Michigan at Somerset Mall, and I'm here to pick up my second watch, man. It's been a long time coming. Let's go. Friends, family, I consider y'all family now. We are in a special place today. I'm not in Chicago. I am here in Michigan. And am I going the right way? That's a good thing because this is the first day that all of the stores or all of the restaurants officially opened up. A lot of the stores have opened up also, but you know, it's like half capacity. A lot of people are, you know, walking through and having a stand in line and all of this other type of stuff. Y'all already know how I felt about the COVID-19 and you know, preventative measures and social distancing and everything like that. You already got an idea of exactly how I felt about that, but that I'm not even gonna talk about that. I'm here for awesome things. I am here to pick up my second Rolex. They say once you buy a Rolex, like you can't really turn back from it. You love it, you adore it. So I did bring my Submariner and I'm just gonna get it clean. I'm just gonna get it steamed, I'm not getting it polished or anything like that. But I do plan on getting my second Rolex. My third Rolex is gonna be something incredibly special. But this particular watch is just something that I really, really, really wanted that I've been oogling over for some time now. And then the third one, I think I'm just gonna jump out the window. I really like that Yacht Master. That mug is beautiful. Cause I really wanna date just. No diamonds though. I'm not interested in diamonds. Rose gold is not the thing either. Yeah, they are working on taking a link out because I've already had it fitted on my arm and I feel super weird wearing this mask right now. It's not really my thing at all. First day that they open back up and I'm just happy to be shopping. And I have some celebrations, some accomplishments that I want to celebrate myself for. And this is how I reward myself. I'm not really in the big, I'm not in the chains. I'm not in the, in the you know, hand jewelry, bracelets, none of that stuff. It's nothing like a beautiful classic Rolex. And, and I might even switch up brands sometime in the near future. But for right now, I need to get all of the watches that I want from Rolex and we're gonna roll with that. I'm also a fan of Shinola, Detroit company. They make some really, really awesome watches. So I do plan on picking up a few Shinolas. That's really dope. That's dope. The face is a little too big for me. So I do plan on picking up a couple of Shinolas or Shinolas sometime in the near future. But right now, we gotta get what we really need. Is that it? That's for you. That's the baby. There you go. That's this is where you. I pop my cherry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, that mug is shining. There you go. All so set beautiful. for you. This is what I really want. This is my final form right here. Daniel. I'm coming back to get it. I know you are. This is what I picked up today. It looks so good. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. We're in good health. Yeah, this is beautiful. I think it's important to do a proper unboxing. Even though you guys actually went along with me, I want to actually go through and then look at this watch in detail so that you, know, you guys can kind of feel what I feel in a way and be able to truly appreciate the watch. What I got back here is my baby. This is my very first one. You guys went along with me to buy this. I actually didn't do an unboxing for my Submariner date either. So I just wanted to go through and just really unbox this thing and kind of highlight the different features of it and why I bought it.
It's nothing like seeing that crown, right? It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. What I've noticed buying my second Rolex is that the box is larger. This box, and obviously the box that houses it, is significantly larger than the box that I got with my Submariner. I like to buy all of my watches new, partly because I just don't trust anybody. For me, it's important to get them brand new. I don't want anybody to ever have worn my watch. I want it to come straight from a Rolex authorized dealer. And it's almost like a fairly family heirloom now. I never plan on selling my watches. So let's just go ahead and open that up. Look how beautiful that thing is. It's absolutely gorgeous. I wanted to get the um, Datejust 41 with the fluted bezel. And I also wanted to get the Jubilee bracelet. So you can see that right there. Obviously I got all of my paperwork. Um, I did get a link taken out of it. I actually went in to buy um, this date just 41 back when I was thinking about it. Like this was the very first watch that I ever wanted from Rolex. And I went and bought this Submariner as a result because it's almost like this thing just spoke to me when I was actually in the store. But I was actually looking at this and I was looking at it with the white face. I just decided to go with this one. The A lot of people like to refer to it as the Wimbledon. It has a slated dial. And when I seen the, the Roman numerals outlined in green, this thing is just beautiful. Look how pretty that is. It's got fingerprints on it now, but they're my fingerprints, and that's what matters. Let me just take this Apple Watch off real quick. It's working man hands right there. So there you have it, guys. I do have my beautiful watch on, and I know a lot of people look at Rolexes as an investment, um, I collect them, so it's the only real tangible thing that I collect aside from sneakers. And I just really got into collecting sneakers, but my watches, they mean more to me than any other thing as far as collecting. And it's my second one, so I'm glad I was able to take you guys along with me. I almost didn't even vlog today. Like, I didn't plan on it. I was kind of just browsing. I didn't plan on going to pick it up today. I was going to look at another watch and they just so happen to have the one on display that I really love and have been kind of sort of, you know, oogling over, over the last, I don't know, year or so. So I appreciate you guys. Let me know your insight. I don't consider myself an expert in watches or Rolexes for that matter in any way, shape or form but I just truly love the watch and, and I'm glad I have the ability to be able to purchase them. My next one is going to, I think, really, really be a big deal. So I have two more that I'm eyeing at this point and I don't even wanna consider buying them until I cross a specific benchmark and something that I'm looking to accomplish in my life. So I try to buy a watch every time that something significant happens to where I accomplish a big goal that I set out for myself and um, yeah, that's just kind of how it is. I don't plan on ever selling them, I plan on keeping them forever. And hopefully you guys appreciate the watch as much as I do. The journey has been awesome. I'm looking forward to picking up several more, two more specifically again that I'm eyeing. And I appreciate you guys. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you hit me up at antondaniels.com. I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.